Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about range and question of Cook of January. Okay, let's begin with problem understanding. You are given positive integers L and R. You have to find the sum of S equals to this values. Okay, where and denotes the bitwise and operation. Since the sum could be very large, we have to mod it with 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. Okay, so inputs are this. Output is this and the constraints are 10 to the power of 5 and error R are 10 to the power of 8. So actually in this question, see the constraints. Constraints are actually 10 to the power of 5. T is 10 to the power of 5. Okay. So we cannot have order of n square solution. Inside each test case, we cannot have order of n solution also. Inside each test case, we cannot have order of n solution. Okay. We have to have a constant amount of time inside each test case to clear the question. Okay. Now let's see the test cases and just understand these test cases and then we will move forward with the logic building part okay let's see what the question is asking with the help of test cases fine so for this test case it says that we have to write this one okay l value plus one and two plus one and two and three plus one and two and three and four we have to write this you have to find the summation of all these values. Okay. You have to find the sum of these values. Now calculate it. It's very simple. So 1. What is 1 in binary? It is nothing but 0, 1 and 2 is 1, 0. So this becomes a 0. So it will be 0. Now since this is 0, so therefore it's common knowledge that if this is 0, 0 and anything will be 0. So this value will be 0. And since this is 0, so this value will also be 0. So for this particular test case, the answer came out to be 1. For this particular test case, it came out to be 1. Okay. Now let's see the another test case. So for another test case, L value is 4 and R value is 10. So it is asking us to do 4 plus 4 and 5. Okay. 4 and 5 and 6 plus 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and so on till 4 and 5 and 6 till 10. Fine. So it is 4. Now 4 plus no, 4 and 5. So 4 is nothing but 100 and 5 is nothing but 101. So this comes out to be 4 again. So it is 4 and 4 and 5 and 6. So 4 and 5 is nothing but 4. So we just have to check with 6. Now 4 and 6 is nothing but 4 again. So it is 4 again. Now 4, 5 and 6 is we have 4 here. So we have to check with 7 only with 4. So it is nothing but, this answer is 4 that we have already seen. So 7 here. So it is 1, 1, 1 which is nothing but 4 again. So it is 4 and now we will have with 8. Now 8 is nothing but 1, 0, 0, 0. So this time it becomes 0. And after 0, we all know that all the values will be 0. So this answer comes out to be 4 into 4. That is nothing but 16. So these are the test cases that is given in the problem statement. So I have explained these test cases. Now I think the problem statement is very clear and it is clear what they are asking us to do. Now let's move on with the logic building part. Now let's begin the logic building part with this test case. Okay. Now here let's see what we will do. So L value is nothing but 9. So 9 in binary is 1001. Okay. So 9 plus. Now 9 plus 10. So it is becoming 1010. And when we will do this end operation. So it will become 8. Okay. So it is becoming 8. Fine. Now with 8. Now we have to do with 9 and 10 and 11. This answer is 8. So we have to do 8 and 11. Okay. So 8 and 11 will simply become 8 again. Okay. 1, 0, 1, 1. This will become 8 again. So we will have 8 again. Okay. I think we will have 8 again because this value will not change because of binary. So it is 1, 0, 1, 1. Then it is 1, 1, 0, 0. This will become 8 again. Okay. Then after this, it will come 1, 1, 0, 1, 8 again. Then it will come 1, 1, 1, 1 and 8 again. So when it will become 16, so then we are getting a different answer. So it will be 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 eights. Okay. And then we will get a 0. So for the rest, it will be 0. So 8 into 4 is nothing but 50, 30, 40, 40 and 49. So is the answer 49 for this test case? Let's check again. So let's check for it. So we have 9. Okay. So we have a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll have 8, 6 times, not 4 times, but we'll have it 6 times. Okay. So 8, 6 is 48 and 9 is 57. So the answer is this, nothing but 57. So the previous also, haven't we seen that answer becomes 4 and then it doesn't change to 4. 
and it moves to zero. Now here we are saying the answer remains eight and it doesn't change. So is it because of two to the powers? So four is two to the power of two and eight is two to the power of three. And here once it became zero, so it became zero. Earlier it was two to the power of zero. So maybe maybe we are this can be a logic. I do not know. Let's check more test cases and test your logic. Okay, so we have to take many test cases to test a particular logic. Okay, that what we are seeing. So for example, uh, a new test case being l equals to 12 and l equals to 12 and r equals to 18. So will this logic work? What we have just seen. So let's see. So it is 12. 12 plus 12 is nothing but 1100, and 13 is 1101. So it becomes 1100. Oh, it is 12. It is not becoming 8 or 16. Okay, fine. So the logic fails here. So 18 is Now 12 with 13, how much it will be? 14, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, Okay, so it is 1, 1, 1, 1. So it is again 12. And when it becomes when it comes to 16, so it will become 0. So we will have 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. So that nothing but answer is 48 for this particular test case. Okay, so this time it became all 12s. Fine. So all 8, all 12s, or Fours with a particular nine, fine. So, what will be the answer for this? It is twenty-one plus twenty-one is nothing but one zero one zero one, and twenty-two is one zero one one zero. So it becomes one zero one zero zero. So it becomes twenty. Okay. Now twenty with twenty-two is done. Twenty-three, twenty-three is nothing but one zero one one one. So it is nothing but one zero one zero zero. It is twenty again. Now with twenty-four, it is again one one zero zero. I think it, this is twenty-four, so it becomes sixteen. Now I think once it becomes two to the power, it will remain at the two to the power. So we can check it out. So one one zero zero one. Yes, it will remain at two to the power because only this value is one. Okay, so it will be sixteen. How many times? Remaining eight times, I think. So the answer will be somewhere around sixteen into eight plus forty plus twenty-one. Okay, so this will be the answer for this particular test case. Fine. Okay, so we have seen two, three test cases. We have got some ideas that yes, once it comes to two to the powers, it remains two to the powers. But how to test for these values? Now we have to form the logic for these. Okay, so since it is bitwise end, so let's twist it around. Let's take these test cases and see in a bit format. Okay, let's see all these test cases in bit format rather than just writing it in the number form. Okay, this we can check the answers. That we get from bit format because we know the process of getting the answers like these. So let's test it out with the bit format now and see if we can form a pattern right there. Okay. So so this is the test case we have seen. This is just a binary format: nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So for this we got the answer as nine directly. Now from here we got all eights. We got all eights. Okay. Till this point we got all eights. And since it is sixteen, so yes, definitely it will be zero after this. So we do not need to check after that. Fine. Okay. Now let's see for 12 and 18. So for 12, we got a 12 here, and it remained 12. It remained 12. Let's see why. And for 21, now for 21, this remained a 21. Now for these two, we got a 20 plus 20, and for these all rest, we got the answer as 60. Okay. Okay. Now we can actually visualize few things here. If you just carefully observe, we can visualize few things. Now, while writing this down, we found out that. Two to the powers are important in this. Two to the powers are important in this. Now, two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two. As you know, these values. This is nothing but two to the power of zero. One, two, three. That is number four, eight, four, two, one. Correct? Eight, four, two, one. This in binary format is nothing but eight, four, two, one. Correct? Sixteen, eight, four, two, one. Okay. So as uh, when this value was one, when this last bit was one, the value was nine. When the bit changed, the value also changed. When the bit became zero, the value also changed. Now, for this eight, now as you can see, the last bit it changed after this only. Okay, so when it changed, the value eight remains same all, all the time. After this, after this, the value remains same all the time of eight because this bit is not changing. This bit is not changing. Now, if you see here, this bit of one, the first set bit here of one. Is not changing. Is not changing till the end. Till we get a zero. Okay. So for all these things, the value remains twelve. Now, as you can see here, the one changes to zero. So twenty-one is just one time. Now this bit, the second side bit, does not change till here. Does not become zero till here. So what we get? We get a twenty in that case. 
okay because of the end operation and now the last set bit last set bit is changing at the end only okay for all these values the answer is nothing but 16 the answer is nothing but 16 it does not change okay so we traverse from the back and we saw that uh, when to the power of 0 changes if it is 1 if it is 1 until it changes the remains same the value remains same then we check to the power of 1 is it 1 no for this test case no for to the power of 2 is it 1 yes it is 1 so till it changes to 0 till it changes to 0 the value remains same the value remains same now we check for to the power of 3 no it is not 1 we check for to the power of 4 yes it is 1 now till it remains same that is 1 it does not change to 0 the value remains same so this is one of the observations you will get if you take few more test cases okay so now on this we can build on this we can build the logic because we can count we can count easily that uh, when this bit will change okay we can count when this bit will change we can definitely count that part okay so to count now that part now let's build a logic on that part okay so we have found out an observation now we will follow that observation and see for multiple test cases we are already seeing that we will get a correct answer okay so let's now do that okay so now let's step by step let's see what do we need so okay so we need to find out whether this bit is set or not correct so this can be easily checked out so for example if the values are 101 1, how can i know if this bit is set or not it is nothing but 2 to the power of 0 correct so just add it end it with 2 to the power of 0 that is but 1 so if this end becomes true if this end becomes true that means we have a value that means this bit is set now for example if we have 100 0, 0, okay and we end it with 2 to the power of 0 we will get a 1 so this will become a false value okay so we can directly check it with using the end using the end operation we can check whether a bit is set or not now if you want to set uh, check whether this bit is set or not then how you will do it so this bit is nothing but 2 to the power of 0 the 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 so end it with 2 to the power of 2 okay so when we end it with 2 to the power of 2 it will give me a true value so that means this bit is set okay so j equals to any variable equals to 0 1 and 2 so 2 to the power of that variable okay let's say that j is 2 to the power of j fine so this is how we will check about the set bits whether a bit is set or not okay so we will simply end it we will simply end it okay so this is the first thing that we needed so we have that now let's see the second thing that we need okay so the next point so if i have 100 zero, zero, when do you think this will become zero when do you think this will become zero when we have eight again so we will have five that is one zero one then we have six and then we have seven so for all this this value will become one remain one and this will become eight correct so four five six seven and eight okay so what is this from one zero zero moving to one triple zero okay what is this this is my shifting one left position okay shifting in one left position or multiplying by two or multiplying by two shifting one left position or multiplying by two okay so these many elements are present these many elements are present between four and seven for these many values this four will remain one this value one will remain one okay so why i'm explaining this is see this one zero one so this is if i say this was four so from four to seven this one remain once and exactly when it comes this becomes zero okay now how do we check that where we are beginning we are not beginning with four we are beginning with five this value is set but how do we check that we are beginning with four or five or six of seven how do we check that part okay now this is a question correct have you understood this part so if you not just rewind it and see what i am just saying okay so for example this is eight okay now this will become zero when it becomes 16 so how do i know if i am starting with nine so how do i know that i'm starting with nine not eight okay if i if i know that i am starting with eight i can directly minus it out 16 minus 8 will give me the answer 16 minus 8 plus 1 will give me the answer okay so how do we check this part out that is the next step i hope you understood this one why why i have explained this now let's see that point now as you can see here we have 101 let's go step by step so we have 101 how you will check whether this is set or not we will end it we will end it with nothing but 2 to the power of 0 because its index is 0 so yeah, 2 to the power of 0 if this is set now if this condition is true that is if this condition is set okay this is true okay then what we have to do we have to calculate that how many times this is coming right now it is just coming a single number of time what value 1 a value of 1 that is 2 to the power of 0 is nothing but 1 okay it came one time it came one time currently 
okay fine so the value becomes one so the value becomes one now we can also use you can also have a variable a variable for example count one you can also have a variable for example count one that is counting out at how many two to the powers are set before any point how many two to the powers are set so two to the power of zero is one which is set that's why we are in the if condition so this also takes the power of two to the power of zero that is nothing but one okay now you will understand why i am doing this it it will become really clear why i am doing this so let's see this part see this part here okay now this becomes zero this becomes zero afterwards okay now when we check for two to the power of two when we check for two as soon as you check for two to the power of one that is this value two to the power of one is nothing but two you will get the answer is zero why one zero one 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 zero okay so you this will become zero this will become zero that means this bit is not set this bit is not set we have to check for the next bit okay that is what i am doing fine fine so now checking for 2 to the power of 2 checking for 2 to the power of 2 now from 2 to the power of 2 we have to check for each values or can we do that directly say i have told you when we start from 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 this value will only change at 8 at 8 directly it will change so we can jump we can jump directly at 7 we can jump directly at 7 okay so we will jump directly at 7 but we need to know whether we are starting with exactly 4 or any other value we are starting with 5 6 or 7 now this value comes into picture it says that see 2 to the power of 0 was set 2 to the power of 0 was set and 2 to the power of 1 was not set if it was set my value would have been updated that means only 2 to the power of 0 was set okay 2 to the power of 0 set means that last one was set that means this value has beginning with 5 not with 4 but with 5 okay now when you go to 7 when you go to 7 you will find out that between these two values there are three values obviously there are three values 5 6 and 7 so for this we have three values we have three values now update me again now update me again for the next set okay now update me again and say me that now i am set for 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 okay i am set for this bit i am set for 2 to the power of 2 that is the second bit i am set okay update me again now when for this we are checking this is zero so we will not do anything now for this when we are checking this is nothing but 16 that is nothing but 16 okay now we know that till 31 it will remain okay till 31 it will remain okay so if we start with 16 bit that is 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 4 is nothing but 16 till 31 it will remain okay correct till 31 it will remain okay but how do we know that we started with 16 we did not start with 16 am i correct we did not start with 16 we started with actually 21 okay now in this count variable i found out that that i do not have to update it i do not have to update it to from 1 to 4 i have to actually add it from 1 plus 4 nothing but 5 so that i can tell me the next contender that 5 are numbers after you have to start okay that means 5 is set 5101 is 5 5 is set it should tell the 16 that 5 is set that means you are not starting with 16 you are starting with 21 you are starting with 21 10101 these two values are set and it is going it till 31 it is going till 31 these many values are there these many values are there this is the use of this count one variable this is the use now you have to understand it very clearly okay this is really really important fine what we are doing here is we are counting after how many numbers will this bit change exactly we are counting how many numbers after this a bit will change fine but we have to know that from where we are beginning okay we can go till 4 to 7 but we have to know that we are beginning with 4 5 or 6 similarly we can go 8 to 16 8 to 15 okay but we have to know whether we are beginning 8 9 10 or 11 now to give this information we are using the count bit we are using the count one variable this variable to give this information that where we are beginning we know the end point we have to know the start point okay we know this point we have to know this point for that we are using the count one variable okay i hope you understood this point because now i will be start merging all the points that i have told you till now fine we will use one more variable and i will tell you what is the use of that variable also now implementation is direct after this okay so let's now see almost the whole part okay i will explain what this count two is so let's now see that point so for i equals to 0 that we are checking for here for i equals to 0 is this true yes this is true we will update the result that we will see and now count 1 will simply become 1 count 1 uh, 2 to the power of 0 is 1 count 1 will become 1 okay now make count 2 also as 1 fine now i equal to 1 now for i equal to 1 
this if will not work will this if will not work okay but we will update count to we will make it simple that for 2 to the power of 1 is 2 so 1 plus 2 will become 3 okay that means we are updating it we are updating it let's see why now for i equals to 2 this will work this will work for i equals to 2 we are set so this will work okay now this will become 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 5 so count 1 will become 5 and see the count 2 will become 2 to the power of 2 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 okay see you can see i think you can see what count 2 is count to see 7 okay count 1 is 5 fine now when i equal to 3 we are here we are not set so we are not changing any count but we have to count these values correct see for i equals to 0 also we have to count these values that is for the values which is not set we have to count these also for the values which is not set okay therefore we are using the count to variable now as you can see 2 to the power of 3 will become 8 8 plus 7 will become 15 8 plus 7 will simply become 15 now if you count out these values see this is nothing but 15 this is nothing but 15 we are directly here we are directly here this is nothing but 15 this is nothing but 7 okay this is nothing but 7 fine so now when we come back for i equals to 4 okay this value is set this value is set so count 1 will now become what 5 to the power of 4 is nothing but we do not need it but to the power of 16 16 plus 5 is nothing but 21 and here it is becomes 31 okay so now why this count 2 is required now see when we go back when we go back now to calculate the result we need the numbers we need the numbers in between we need the numbers in between now at this step when count 2 was 15 and count 1 was 5 so how many numbers are there for set bit 4 for set bit 4 how many numbers are there so it is nothing but 15 minus 5 plus 1 that is nothing but 11 numbers are there that is nothing but 11 numbers are there okay so if you count it out it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so this number and this number okay i think you can see the resemblance here so 15 minus 5 plus 1 number 11 numbers are there this 11 needs to be multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 okay 11 numbers with 2 to the power of 4 okay so that's become 16 into 11 which is 176 fine now i am tracing it back now i am tracing it back okay now when we add 5 i count 2 equals to 7 and count 1 equals to 5 so 7 minus 5 plus 1 simply gave me 3 but the set bit was not set set bit was not set for this so we go back so it is 3 and 1 so 3 minus 1 plus 1 simply gives me 3 numbers count bit was set for this count bit was set for this so 4 into 3 this value that is they gave me count 2 minus count 1 plus 1 so 11 numbers will definitely have 16 so 4 is in nothing but how much 3 as we have already seen so it is nothing but 12 and 1 is just 1 so it is nothing but 1 when you add it out it is 189 okay so it was 21 plus 20 plus 20 plus 8 times 16 okay now in these also 16s are there correct so 1 2 3 3 16s comes here so it is nothing but 11 into 16 it is nothing but 11 into 16 okay now how many numbers are left 5 plus 4 plus 4 so in this 4 plus 4 plus 4 is nothing but 1 okay and then a 1 so what i did was i simply this whole values needs to be converted into 2 to the power so it is nothing but 21 plus 20 plus 20 plus 8 times 16 correct so convert it first in 16 so what will be the 16 values it will be nothing but 5 plus 16 plus 4 plus 16 plus 4 plus 16 okay 4 plus 16 plus 8 times 16 so 3 more 16s are added here so it will be nothing but 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 11 times 16 okay now convert it into 2 to the powers so it will be nothing but 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and 11 times 16 so it is nothing but 1 into 1 time plus 3 4 times and sorry 4 3 times and 11 16 11 times so this is the final answer what we did is we converted each and every number into powers of 2 and we counted out the powers of 2 simple we counted out the powers of 2 this was the exact logic okay we have to count out the powers of 2 so we counted them out using this particular logic so this was the whole question so just rewind the video and see it again step by step what is the use of count 1 what is the use of count 2 how the result will be updated result is nothing but uh, our count 2 minus our count 1 okay multiplied by our number what number can you guys think about it it is nothing but 2 to the power of j value that we have currently okay 4 into that number 8 into that number 16 into that number 5
and one more point is remaining will we always have count to minus count one plus one or there is something else also okay will in the result there will always be count to minus count one plus one why i'm saying this why i'm saying this i am saying this because the reason being count two is continuously increasing count two is continuously increasing am i correct so even if the l and, and this value becomes four l and this way this if condition becomes four count two will continuously increase okay but after a certain point we have to stop that means when we get all zeros do you remember when we have 16 here and this was 15 so after this we have to stop we have to do not move forward but count two will start moving forward okay so now its value can increase its value can increase so we have to just tell the minimum value between r minus l plus one and count two minus count one plus one okay because count two value is continuously increasing it is not stopping for the all the bits for all the bits count value is continuously increasing so see, this value will become more than the value that we have more than the numbers that we have at a particular point this value will increase okay so we have to stop that now for stopping that we will choose our value that we add into a result using this formula okay using this particular formula that is minimum of r minus l plus one when count two minus count one plus one becomes more than the numbers that we have that after that we will always choose the numbers after before that we will choose this and after that we will choose the numbers fine so this was the question okay because of the explanation it seems like so big but once you know that what we need to do okay it becomes quite quite simple to understand it okay to understand it becomes quite simple that yes we have 21 plus 20 plus 20 plus 16 and we can directly find out 2 to the powers directly in the binary we can find 2 to the powers of directly okay using the shift operators so we are using that part we are dividing 20 20 and 21 into 16 power of twos okay and then the remaining we are dividing again into power of twos that is 4 4 and 4 and one is already a power of two so now this whole equation only contains power of twos okay so this was the logic behind this question okay i will just show you the implementation it's same that that i have shown you but only thing you need to take care of is modulus so let's see the implementation part now so this is mod correct so long everything is long here long long fine count count one count two and result so why till 60 only so 10 to the power of 18 correct how many bits 62 63 bits so that's why ding that's why written this one okay now count equals to min minimum of r minus l plus one or count to minus count two plus one mode okay everything mode now this is the if condition that i have talked about this is the result okay add the result this is the count minimum multiplied by two to the power and mode everything this count one will only increase when this if condition is true but the count two will increase even if the if, if condition is not true finally we will print the result okay so this was the explanation for this question okay it seems big uh, just see it one or twice if you do, guys do not are not able to understand it okay because this is a good question the only thing is how do we implement it in bit manipulation therefore i have actually traced the code out okay i have actually traced the code for that matter that actually how to implement it using bit manipulation now we, we knew the logic that we have to find out these parts that is how much time one is taking that how many times four will take and how many times the last 16 bit will take to the power of four bit will take and then we have to add that out of uh, multiplying but how we are going to do it so this is one of the implementation this is just one of the implementation okay there are more implementation for this particular problem fine thank you